Now today, we're going to be on the trail of some of the biggest bass you ever did see in your whole life. For instance, last year, I caught the world record. Alright, now I shattered George Perry's record of 22 pounds and 4 ounces. I caught a 90 pound largemouth bass. They weren't going to do nothing about it because I had to have a picture of the bass and a video of me weighing it and all that but I, I told them that'd be dang near impossible because I never actually weighed it. See, I'm a, I'm a real good estimator. I just estimate everything. But anyway, that uh, that's just like uh, last spring. I caught a bass. I, this size little bass is uh, this one right here. Now, uh, he's a pretty nice little bass but anyway, I was out there fishing with a culprit right out here in Wilson Lake again. And uh, I was sitting there and I was letting it drag the bottom a little bit, pull it back up, and, I was, and all of a sudden I felt a little, little tag, he done tagged it, so, so I started easing down and I jerked it, and I set that thing, and I started reeling him in, his fight, and he's about to break the line, my pole was like that right there, he's all bent over, just like that right there, like that right there, he's all bent over. So then, I took and I just kept reeling, and kept reeling, and kept reeling, about that time he come up out of the water, and I... Now, in fishing, safety is just as important as hunting, because fishing can be just as dangerous, if not more so than hunting. Cause, for instance, my cousin, Jimbo, he was out on the lake a couple years ago, and it was kind of a stormy day, and it was lightning and all that junk, and the weatherman already said it was a striking kind. So he's out there just fishing, enjoying himself. About that time, some thunder started rolling in the clouds, clouds started gathering together and getting all dark and black and gray and stuff and then he started hearing some thunder and lightning striking well that sky lit up real bright and then about that time big old goose flew in and smacked Jimbo right square in the head knocked him out of the boat and he drowned to death something you can do to protect yourself is wear thick socks very important to wear thick socks I really don't know why but it helps because I've been wearing thick socks for years and I ain't never got hit by no goose and never died fishing. So uh, you wear anywhere from three to five pairs of socks depending on how accident prone you are. But uh, so wear anywhere from three to five pairs and that, that should uh, help you out a great deal. But if you're like me, when you put on all them pairs of socks, your shoes ain't gonna fit you right. So, uh, like, for instance, when usually I wear about a size 10, and uh, these are my fishing shoes, I wear a size 14 out on the lake because, uh, because of all them socks, but definitely I've been kept safe through all these thick layers of socks and these big old shoes. I'm not really sure why of this neither, but wear something orange. I've always heard you, you're supposed to wear something orange when you're fishing. Just look at Bill Dance. Let's prepare to go out on our journey. I'm going to get us to a good location and then we'll discuss bait and things such as that. One very important thing when you're out on a lake or anywhere outdoors is something like that right there. Some insect repellent. Kind of spray it on your arms, all over. You get some on your face a little bit, all over here. Here's the bait I usually like to use. This right here. I actually could have kept my hook on because I'm just going to use I, I just call this a uh, big plastic worm. That's, that's what I like to call it. This is a very amazing bait all by itself because, you know, these nice fellers that I was going against in the fishing tournament last year. They told me use something big, and gawky, and bulky like this right here, and uh, should get me some plenty of bass. I, I didn't really win nothing that year. I didn't catch nothing, but you know, I'll just take their word for it. Now, fish attractant. A lot of people use something like uh, you know, some kind of garlic and salt or crawfish bait mate or something like that. No, uh, uh. I tell you right here, firsthand, the fish want to go for something that smells good. So just some Glade Refreshing Spa Spray Light Mist Fragrances All Rum Room uh, Something like that right there and Just and 
out, out. Doesn't use so much of it. You really want to get plenty on his tail, right? There. I hate that. Alright, now, let's get to fishing. I got something on this one. Yeah. No! Oh! No! It's a snake! Billy Bob, that's Billy Bob! Billy Bob! That's, snake. that's a snake you put on there, Billy Bob! Green lizards. I know this This is one of the other things them nice fellas in the tournament said never, never, ever use. I wasn't catching nothing on that big boy. I had to. I had to switch and get something else. I was just going in this open area. Might as well. Some of the blade. But very, very bomb. I got a little story to tell you about my uncle. See, my family, we've always had bad luck when it comes to fishing. Well, one time, about, I'd say six, seven, about six, seven years ago, my uncle, he was out there fishing, and he hooked the biggest bass. He, he said it was so huge. And I was out there in the boat with him, and it, it, it had the boat just spinning around like this right here. And about that time, it just jerked my uncle out of the water out of the boat. He landed in the water and we never saw him again. I didn't really say anything to my family. So I hope they don't watch this video. I never did say anything to my family though because I, I guess I guess the fish ate him or something because I had never seen him again. Anyway uh, I guess I'll go to the jugging because I see a lot of fishermen they always talk about jugging. Uh, it's supposed to do you some good or something. I'm gonna try to fish on it. I'll throw one out there and I'll see what I'm doing. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm rigging up a special bait. Estimate that fish. Yeah. I did some real good deep thinking on it. Held them up pretty good. I tell you about four, four, 40, 48, 49 pounds, something like that. Mm-hmm. Not too bad, I don't reckon. He still ain't 90, 92, whatever. A 90-pound largemouth bass. fishing day. I had a good time. At least we caught one. Sure did. It was real fish too. And uh, anyway, so I had a good time fishing today. Join us on our next... Bear Bob! Huh? Bear Bob, it's a goose! Whoa. A goose! Whoa.